say hi to the people? I just pulled out the camera to start filming and look. She came up and snuggled next to me. Who else has pets where literally any room you go in, even if you just go to shower or go on the toilet, they literally follow you everywhere. I feel like Goldens are so loyal and anything I do or leave the room, she wants to come and follow me and lay right by me. It's honestly the cutest thing. But what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel for another video. Thank you for tuning in. I really, really do appreciate it. By popular demand, I have so many Boss Babe videos coming at you guys. Today we're gonna talk about the best investments that I have made within the past few years in my business. If you're new here, I do make full-time income on social media and my whole Boss Babe playlist here on my channel is dedicated to teaching you guys everything that I've learned about growing an engaged organic audience, how to make revenue, monetize your platforms, how to increase your credit, personal development, time management, organization, all the jazz, right? All the good things. I am here to just completely help you guys live your passion and be able to make revenue off that to support your family. So I had a request from you guys. I talked about on my Instagram how I invested $200 into my business and it ended up making me over $30,000 within two months. So we're gonna talk about that today, but um, we're not just gonna talk about that. I wanted to talk about a bunch of investments that I've made in my social media business that have really helped me and paid off with me just growing my platform, launching my eBooks, launching my social media courses, and they've really just paid off in all areas to help me really grow my platform and make this a full-time job. So we have tons of info coming at you at this video. Be sure to subscribe, join the Boss Babe Squad, give this video a like, and let's get started. So you guys know back on March 1st of this year, I did launch my social media courses called the Boss Babe Academy, where I teach you guys how to make a living on Instagram and on YouTube. I had two separate courses. So in order for me to actually launch those courses and create the video, and the ebooks and have a platform in order to bring you guys that content, I had to invest in a website. I already use Big Cartel where I sell my ebooks, which is also something I want to talk about today, using Canva and PicMonkey to actually create PDFs and create ebooks, which you can then sell to your audience. Um, but I actually had to find a website where I could actually host a video course platform because if you join any of my courses, what you're going to get is full access into a video library. Like for the Instagram course, there's 15 videos and I actually walk you guys through step by step how to make money on Instagram, monetize the platform, and grow an organic audience. Um, but with Big Cartel, I sell my eBooks on there and it's kind of like my home-based website, but I could not sell or have like video courses on there. So I had to invest in a website. And I actually heard about Kajabi through my friend Angie. She hosts the Angie Lee Show, the podcast, which is incredible. I went to her event this past weekend. You guys saw that like all over my Instagram. She's amazing, but she introduced me to Kajabi. By the way, this is not sponsored by Kajabi, but you can hit me up if you want because I'm about to sell the crap out of it. So Kajabi is a website that if you want to run your entire business on social media or you want to launch courses for your audience, this will be perfect for you. It costs between 100 and 400 a month to run depending which plan you get. So the title of this video is how I invested 200 bucks. I chose the plan where in order for me to use the website and have them host it for me, it was 199 a month. So my initial investment to get my online academy started and to make these courses for you guys was 200 bucks plus tax. Let's say like 214 bucks. So I paid for that and then basically I had my own Kajabi site, which is what I still have. I can leave the link down below if you guys wanna check it out and check out my design and kind of how I run my page. I would love if you wanna check it out. So I've got a home page, and then I have an Instagram course page and a YouTube course page. There's landing pages for each one. So you can scroll through the page and it tells you everything that my course offers. And then at the bottom, you're able to click and sign up if you want to join my course. So basically Kajabi is now my host where I still run those courses. I think I'm actually gonna come out next year um, around January with a revamped like 2.0 social media course because I actually learned so much this past year with launching courses for the first time and now I feel there's so many new things I want to do with like graphic design and making the course better so I am looking to improve them and actually come out with um, kind of like an, an updated like 2.0 version next year but anyways um, so I priced my Instagram course at $1.99 and I priced my YouTube course at $3.99 and then what I did is I used MailChimp which is another incredible investment in your business if you do not have a mailing list you need to get one this is something Thing I was super late to the bandwagon on because my full-time income for so long was just YouTube. I was not really um, having lots of multiple income streams and revenue streams, which is what I highly suggest that you do. Learn from my mistakes. I actually didn't start having like affiliate links or using the Amazon affiliate program or doing a lot of sponsorships or anything like that until like my third year online. What I recommend now is you obviously wanna make sure you set up as many revenue streams for yourself as possible, just because like with YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter, we don't own those platforms. We do not control the algorithm. We are not Mark Zuckerberg. Like we don't control 
anything. So one day people could literally hack onto my YouTube and it could be gone. And what if that was my only revenue stream and it was all taken away from me and I had nothing. Like I literally wouldn't be able to support my son. So now I've set up my business as to where I sell my eBooks. I have affiliate programs. I do some sponsorships. You guys know I work with like ThreadUp, Poshmark, a few solid companies that I really believe in and that you guys really like. So it's a really good fit. Um, but yeah, that's another awesome investment in your business is to make sure that you do set yourself up for like the Amazon affiliate program, stuff like that. So anywho, my initial investment with Kajabi was that $200. Then on March 1st, when I launched my social media courses, because I had been hyping it up on my mailing list and telling you guys I did like a 30 and a 60 day countdown until I launched them, during my launch month, I was actually able to generate a little over $31,000 of revenue based upon... You know, my Instagram class, class was $1.99, my YouTube class was $3.99, I believe. Um, and I believe I had almost, I gotta look up the exact number, almost 200 students within that first like six weeks who signed up during my launch period. And I was able to turn that 200 bucks into almost 32 grand, which is so crazy. Now for this specific investment, I know certain things with real estate, you know, you can put in money and then that property increases in value, you sell it and then you make the difference. We all know that real estate is an excellent investment as well. With this one, obviously, there's like work attached to it. So I invested the money to, you know, have the Kajabi website, but then I had to sit at home and put in the work and create the courses for you guys. It took me months. I had to record 15 video courses for my Instagram class. In each module, we talk about a different topic about how to grow your audience, like I said, and monetize your platform, how to sell your eBooks, set up Linktree and just everything regarding the Instagram platform, how to grow a completely organic following and really increase your engagement. And then I had to fully create my YouTube course. So I recorded for that one I believe 12 different videos and attached to a lot of the videos I also included like PDFs or ebooks so it was a ton of work I know it was something I told you guys about like starting like a year and a half ago and then it took me like six months to create um, it's actually a ton of work behind the scenes but it is completely an investment to where the only monetary investment I had to put in was that initial 200 bucks. The me recording all the videos and getting everything ready for launch, that took a lot of time, but it didn't really take any other money. The only real like money investment I, you know, put in was that 200 bucks and I was able to get, yeah, I think almost about 32 grand um, within my first launch period there, which to me was such an accomplishment was so much fun. I loved seeing so many of you guys enroll in my courses. I've got so many Instagram DMs and testimonials that you ladies have learned so much, no matter like which course of mine you're in. I am obsessed with my students. I see you guys out there like utilizing the tips and tricks that I've taught in my courses and killing it on your own social media. So it's really fulfilling for me to see that like my tips have really helped you and given you some knowledge and you're able to go use that and make revenue for yourself to support your own family because that's the entire point. Just like with my Boss Babe playlist here on YouTube, like every single video that I create about a certain topic within social media is really to just share with you guys what I've learned and really share like the love and the knowledge back because again, I always say it, but having, being able to support myself full time with social media and support my son and now get my dream house and my dream car and feel secure has been the biggest, biggest, biggest blessing and risk and amazing thing in my life. So I am just so, I feel it. I feel a passion so strong in my heart and in my gut to share all of this back with you guys because I want that feeling so bad for other young women and other single moms out there. I wanna help you guys and give you the tools so you can succeed in your own business because it is the best feeling ever. And we can all do it, right? It's not that I'm any smarter or any more educated than any of you. It's just that you need the tools to do it. And when I was first starting social media, I didn't have anyone, I mean, I had my favorite YouTubers who I watched, um, and you know who I look to for inspiration, but I never, there was no one on YouTube doing like a Boss Babe series or like a YouTube ebook. I had to figure it all out on my own. I spent months and months learning Final Cut Pro, iMovie, graphic design. I figured out how to create my own ebooks by myself. I would have loved if I could just log online and you know, have someone give me these tips and tricks. So after I slowly started realizing within the past few years that this has been working for me and my income has been increasing, yeah, I'm like, I gotta share this with other people. Yes, you guys know I already have such a heart for single moms and single dads and just other female entrepreneurs wanting to help you guys kill it in your business is so exciting and like fulfilling for me. I don't know, I just feel like su the success should definitely be shared and I don't know, you guys know I'm all about like transparency on my channel, sometimes a little too much, um, but at literally anything that I've launched, succeeded in, made revenue from, had any type of success in, I am here to share that back with you guys. So if you were looking to launch any type of social media online course for your business, check out Kajabi, I will link it below. Again, not sponsored, but hi, hit me up. Um, 
And yeah, some other investments that I've made in my business are MailChimp. I believe I spend almost 200 a month for that just due to the amount of people I have in like on my mailing list. Um, I believe for your first 2,500 people, it is free. If you don't have a newsletter, you need to get one. Um, again, if you're just starting out with your audience and it's free for you every month, there's really no reason why not to do it. You can send out an email every time you're going to have a meetup or a live event, or if you're having like a book signing or you're launching an ebook, if you're a health and fitness coach and you're about to run a challenge, like mailing lists are incredible. I, I was reading a statistic, I believe um, in 2018, mail, what is it called? Um, mailing lists, what is that called? Mail, email, duh, <laughs> why couldn't I find that word? Email marketing is still the number one most popular. Even with everything else blowing up on social media, people still check their emails. I know that kind of blew my mind as well. Like obviously I still check my business email and stuff. I run my whole business through there, but you know, just, I feel like there's a lot of spam and junk mail these days. I wouldn't necessarily expect uh, that big percentage of people to still open their email, but anywho, email marketing is still the number one most popular. Get on MailChimp or Kajabi, create a mailing list, let your audience know when you're launching something. That's an incredible investment. Again, it might be free for you. If you have an audience over 2,500 people, it might cost you like 30 or 50 bucks a month, nothing too crazy. And of course you can always write that off. And then just another incredible investment that I've made in my business just this past year, I was able to do it was to have a VA. So I have someone now who helps me go through all of my work and business emails helps me to kind of sift through sponsorships helps with customer service for my girl boss academy students just anything else that i need regarding that's like in the virtual assistant realm it really helps me it is totally a well worth it investment for me because i'm able to spend my time creating videos for you guys with my son with the puppy you know helping my taking my son to tutoring or basketball or whatever i have going on i'm able to put my energy somewhere else and paying someone to really help me with assistant work has been so beneficial for my business Business. And that is also something that I waited way too long to do. Um, I never wanted to give income away, just being honest. When I started making money, I wanted to keep it for myself, you know? I didn't want to hire a team or hire help, um, you know, really until this past year when I realized that me giving someone a thousand bucks a month or whatever it is to help me with some assistant work, then I'm able to actually, my stress level goes down because they help with things that are extremely helpful in my business and things that I don't want to do, like pesky emails and just, you know, whatever tasks I have for them for the week, I'm able to then have my stress go down, be in a better mental headspace to create content for you guys. And I'm able to spend my time I'm able, able to better spend my time, you know, with editing and anything else I have to do with my business. So hiring a VA is incredible. I know a lot of you are probably on the fence where you're feeling overwhelmed with your social media business, but you do need to hire some help. Um, I honestly say just do it. It is a totally a well worth it investment. Um, so yeah, oh, I also mentioned Canva, PicMonkey. Those are incredible websites where you can create eBooks. Um, Canva, I believe is only like $10 a month. It's awesome. You could also get PDF Creator. Um, I will leave all of those down below for you guys. I don't want to go too far into all those because I can see myself rambling and I think this video has already been pretty long, but I did want to make a little video on this today. A lot of you on Instagram wanted to see it. I hope that was helpful. Leave any comments or questions you have down below. Also leave a comment if you have another topic for next week's Boss Babe video. I would love to know if you're new here. I've done multiple other videos on how to make a living through social media and also how I increase my credit score, time management, organization, all that stuff. Just be sure to check out the whole Boss Babe playlist. I'll put a link for it down below. I'd love to have you guys subscribe here to my channel. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can follow along like my daily life for, you know, for the days that I'm not on YouTube. If you just want like, you know, if you just want to see me every day. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.